lead with lighting, fire pit, and green lights aren't on right now, but Hey guys, 
So I am coming to you from Flagstaff area. There's a beautiful spot on 222, off 222. I will insert pictures, but I wanted to introduce you to the new travel partner. Uh, he's a little crazy, but uh, I've been putting this off for a while because I've been really busy with a leaky roof still. Um, but yeah, on August 4th, I got a new travel partner. And I'll tell you all about it as soon as I introduce him. Hold on. So I'd like to introduce Tigger. <laughs> this is my new little man. Say hi. Hello. He's a little spotted tabby. He's so cute. He's a little psycho. And he's been playing in the dirt all day. So this is him. I wanted to introduce you guys before he got any bigger because he's been growing like crazy. He used to fit in my hand, like all of him in my hand. And now I need two hands because he's so big. Look, <laughs> he's such a good boy, though. He's a very good boy, very loving. And I'll insert a bunch of pictures from the last month. But we've been kind of getting used to each other. And yeah, so I wanted to do this and before he got bigger and say hi. Say hi. Say hi, guys. Hello. <laughs> he is going to be harness trained. I adopted him from the animal shelter in Flagstaff um, because my friend Gillian actually is a foster parent and she takes kitties and for like weeks, a couple weeks and gets them used to like being sociable and trying to make feral cats nicer and uh, ooh, the sun just came out. So I met him when we were camped together out in Dogtown Lake when he was only a couple weeks old and I immediately fell in love with him and waited weeks and weeks and finally was able to adopt him on the 4th they spayed him or wait neutered him because he's a boy so they neutered him they gave him all the shots they dewormed him they pretty much do everything so it's been a month of getting to know each other but we're, we're doing well aren't we mm -hmm. yes we very much love each other I got some really cute pics that I'll insert, but I just wanted to show you guys my new travel partner. <laughs> I figured it was about time I missed a kitty in my life. But see, he is a little psycho right now. I'm trying to let him play, so. I've got a little lead for him, and I was able to get a really cool cage that folds down flat and easy to, like, open and close uh, for $15. I'll show you guys that in a minute. And, yeah, he just loves being outdoors with us. So, say bye-bye. So, we'll show you how we are in a minute. <laughs> bye, guys. So, this is pretty much how we spend our days when it's not raining. There he is. He's got his own little lead. Way over there, because he keeps getting tangled up and everything. So, But this is his cage, which usually this table is a really good little shade for him. Yeah, so, he can go in there and lay down and have some food and water he's already went outside as far as going potty so he knows how to do that this cage is like the perfect size you guys 15 bucks couldn't go wrong somebody sold me that at the home depot the other day but yeah he likes to get tangled but i'm going to i've been trying to walk him on leash and stuff i want him to be social bring him around to the events this season Hey, buddy. He's been playing all morning, so hopefully he's tuckered out by now. But yeah, he's a little freak. He loves it, though. Alright, guys, well, I will insert pictures. As you can see, the tarp is still over my roof. Emily's back there on the hammock. <laughs> this is camp. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.
Tigger, get the ant. You get it? Oh, is it out of your reach? It's out of your reach, isn't it? You still want it, don't you? <laughs> Poor guy. Mm-hmm.